What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Dead by Daylight. In today's video, we are in the PTV about to check out the brand new killer, Chucky. We're going to be breaking down the power, going to be breaking down the perks and the character info. So let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and go to the killers and see if we can find Chucky here. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There he is in the second row right next to the Huntress. The good guy. <laughs> the good guy. Oh my God. That laugh haunts me, man. Chucky scared me so much as a kid. It's crazy. But anyway, let's go ahead and check out the character info right here. We do have the backstory. Let's go ahead and check it out. It says, Charles Lee Ray, the infamous Lakeshore Strangler, was tracked down and shot after a murderous rampage. However, he escaped death by having his soul possess a good guy's doll named Chucky through a curse. Chucky didn't want to stay a good guy forever, though, and he knew there was only one way to change that. Take the body of Andy Berkeley, the first person he had revealed his secret to. After his first attempt failed, Chucky waited two long years before he found Andy again. With nobody standing between Chucky and Andy, he took the boy to the good guy factory to complete the process of stealing Andy's body. But Andy's foster sister, Kyle, realized something was amiss and followed Andy to the factory. Uh, inside the factory, Chucky forced Andy to the ground and spoke ancient words to take possession of his body. But the ritual they go as planned and Kyle quickly and desperately toppled a stack of good guy boxes over him. Uh, Chucky screamed his frustration as he pushed through the pile of boxes. Gathering his wits, he looked down the brightly lit aisle and saw Andy running into a thick, swirling mass of fog. He thought he was seeing things at first, but then realized the fog... <laughs> the fog was real and there to help him. His words hadn't worked as intended, but he had somehow conjured something else. Something unexpected. Something... He didn't quite understand. So there's a quick little backstory for everyone on the right side. You do see the perks. We're going to go over that in just a bit. But let's check out the power. It's called Playtime's Over. The description does say, After the rage is being trapped in the body of a doll subsided, the Lakeshore Strangler realized his new body was the perfect host to disorient and surprise his kills. The special ability is Heidi Ho Mode. Chucky can enter Heidi Ho Mode at any time provided the cooldown is over. When in Heidi Ho mode, Chucky becomes a detectable and generates map-wide footfalls, disorienting survivors with sounds and footprints coming from many directions. That's pretty crazy. And when it comes to another special ability, it's called Slice and Dice. While in Heidi Ho mode, Chucky gets access to the Charge and Slice ability, allowing him to rush unsuspecting survivors before leaping forward and performing a Slice and Dice attack. Additionally, if a survivor vaults through a window or over a pallet, Chucky can quickly chain a scamper while using a slice and dice. Another special ability is scamper. Three special abilities. Uh, while in Heidi Ho mode, Chucky can perform a scamper through windows or under down pallets, allowing him to close on his unsuspecting prey. Right here on the right side, we do see the attributes. When it comes to the max base speed, it is 4.4. And when it comes to the base tear radius, it is 32. And of course, when it comes to the height, it is short. Um, but let's go ahead and get down to the perks. Let's go ahead and break down the perks one by one. First one is going to be Hex 2 can play. The description does say anytime you're stunned or blinded by any survivor two times, if there is no Hex totem associated with Hex 2 can play, a dull totem becomes a Hex totem. Survivors who stun or blind you are blinded for 1.5 seconds. This does not affect carried survivors. Uh, the hex effects persist as long as the related hex totem is standing. This is just a straight up counter when it comes to a whole team using flashlights. This is great. I can't wait to use this perk. It's going to be so much fun. But anyway, the next perk is called Friends Till the End. The description does say you become obsessed with one survivor. When you hook a survivor that is not the obsession, the obsession becomes exposed for 20 seconds and reveals their aura for 10 seconds. When you hook the obsession, another random survivor screams and reveals their position and becomes the obsession. 
Okay, we're only two perks in, but this is sounding really good. I actually love Chucky's perks so far. They're really they're gonna be really, really fun to experiment with, that's for sure. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the final perk for Chucky. It is called Batteries Included. That's pretty funny. Uh, the description does say, when within 12 meters of a completed generator, you have 5% haste. The movement speed bonus lingers for five seconds after leaving the generator's range. But there you guys have it, the power and perk breakdown for our brand new killer, the good guy, Indoor Chucky. Um, guys, this is insane. I still can't believe that this is actually happening. I cannot believe that we have Chucky in DVD. This is just... This is just so crazy to me. But anyway, guys, let me know down in the comments what you think about the perks. Let me know what you think about the power. Let me know if you already tried out Chucky. If you like the gameplay, if you kind of hate the gameplay. I know a lot of people are a little iffy on it right now. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But that's going to do it for me. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Definitely does help a lot. Follow me on Twitch if you want to see any DVD action live. And I'll see you guys next video. Make it right. Later.